everybody, it's Emily, and today I want to talk about books about birds. So I did a video a few days ago about book recommendations about dinosaurs and Homestead Schooled requested that I do a video recommending books about birds and birding. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get started. The first book I'm going to recommend is Backyard Birds, Bird Watching for Kids by George Harrison. And this book is really nicely done. And it has everything you'd ever want to know about birds and birding. There's a section about various kinds of common birds that might come to your feeder. There's a section on what kind of plants to, to um, have in your garden to attract different birds. A section on bird food to attract specific kinds of birds. And it is out of print, unfortunately, I think. And um, But you should easily be able to find copies. And I will be linking all of the books that I mentioned today in down below. So you will be able to find all of these books on Amazon. Um, of course, when you're birding, you're going to want a field guide. And for small children, I highly recommend the National Audubon Society for Field Guides for Kids. This is a really great resource. It has the most common birds that would be coming to your feeder. And it has a whole section in the beginning with information about birds in general. So like bird anatomy, how birds are hatched from eggs and what bird baby birds are like, um, why birds come in so many different colors, just lots of great information in this book. So I highly recommend this series. Now, another book that you probably would want for older children more than younger children is Why Don't Woodpeckers Get Headaches? And Other Bird Questions You Know You Want to Ask by Mike O'Connor. And this book is written by the owner of Bird Watchers General Store in Cape Cod. And he had a section in his local newspaper about Ask the Bird folks. And he took all the questions that people asked him in that and just in general at his store and he shares them in this book and with his answers so it's basically like a compilation of his bird column in his newspaper and it's a really great resource there's pretty much any question you can think of that someone might ask about bird watching it's probably in this book so it's a great resource another great resource for eggs in general this isn't specifically birds but it has a lot of information about eggs it's called An Egg is Quiet by Diana Hutz Aston and Sylvia Long. And these books are so pretty. I really, really like this series. And it's got a lot of information about eggs, but it's written for younger children. So you can see there's not a ton of text on each page, but the illustrations are just beautiful. Just look how, how beautiful that is. And I really like that in this series, the first two pages... And the final two pages have this big spread about with pictures of different kinds of eggs that you might find. And in the back two spread, two page spread, it's a picture of all kinds of birds. Well, really anything that lays eggs. So there's birds, but there's also iguanas and there's um, insects. So it's a really, really nice book, and it's got beautiful illustrations. Another book I highly recommend is The Tarantula in My Purse and 172 Other Wild Pets by Jean Craighead George. And I love her books. She is an amazing author. And this book is great because it is true stories about how they would raise all these strange pets. And she's had all kinds of pets over the years, and there's several stories in here about crows, chickadees, um, a kestrel, ducks. So while it isn't entirely about birds, there is probably, I would say, 60 to 70% of the stories are about birds. So it's really fun to read, and it made my kids want to go out and start, like, finding animals and bringing them home to raise, which, you know, we're not equipped to do. I am not a naturalist, so we're not going to do that, but it's a really fun book to read. And our, the last two books I'm going to mention are chapter books, and one of them is by Jean Craighead George, and it's There's an Owl in the Shower, and the other one is Owls in the Family by Farley Mowat, and these are both just really fun reads about pet owls, and it made my son want to go and get himself a pet owl, which, of course, 
isn't really something we can do, but they are really, really fun stories to read. So those are my favorite books about birds and birding. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to request another video in this series, just tell me what topic you'd like me to compile a book list about, and I will see what I can come up with. So as always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much, and have a great day. Happy reading.